Wadi Urea National Park, uh, actually all the life is concentrated uh, around the wetland ecosystem. Wetland and water is the center of the life. You have many different uh, endemic species and a lot of biodiversity hidden in this uh, arid environment that from far away you, you could think well, there is nothing in this mountain, but when you start investigating, you realize there is, there is a lot of life. In regard to dragonfly, it's also a, a hot spot for the region. In, in UAE, you have 30, 31 species which have been officially recognized, and 24 of them are uh, have been identified now here in uh, Wadi Waria. They are magnificent old species. They are aged 300 million years old. So for us, monitoring these species is very important to understand how the ecosystem function, especially in Wadi Rea where the environment is highly dynamic and the flash flood change the Wadi bed. They are fragile, they are colorful, and they are agile. Their body structure and the patterns, everything about this species make them unique, including their life cycle, amphibian life cycle, where they spend more than half of their life in the water. They breathe underwater and they, they, they emerge and they start to fly. In June 2013, and we had the visit at that time of uh, da David Shelmish, he is uh, the president of the Odonatological Society of, uh, of Britain. He approached us to make a visit of the park because at this time the park was already famous for the diversity of dragonflies. We went up the Wadi and I took lots of photographs and I collected lots of exuviae, which are the, the husk, the, the larval case of the dragonfly and I'd collected this funny exuvia. It was big, with no spines, and I couldn't work it out. And I sent it to all sorts of people, and all sorts of people wrote back and said, we've no idea. And eventually I sent it to a, a friend of mine in Germany, and he worked out that it was a Eurothemis exuvia, and therefore it must be Eurothemis thomasi. How about that? It was wonderful. We, we were not sure if, if it was still alive or existing because the last, uh, the last observation, like the last record of this, uh, of this species was uh, nearly 30 years that the species has not been uh, recorded and officially published. We don't know why this species in particular is, uh, is rare. Uh, you, and you find it in, here, it's present, but always in low number. So this is what we are uh, going to investigate uh, in more detail. Uh, Cher Mohamed Bin Zayed Fond helped us a, a lot, in fact, by in developing the survey. Many sites have been uh, reviewed in UAE. Going there again to, to try to find specifically Eurotemis thomasi, to identify the, the status, to clarify the distribution. Now we are uh, no, knowing that the species is here and we are uh, going nearly every day in Wadi Waraya. We tagged uh, something like 400, uh, 450 individuals and we had a 12% uh, recapture rate, so which, which depends from the species, but it gives us some idea of the population turnover. Dragonflies, it's, they are not uh, very active early. So for people who don't like to wake up too early, it's a good species to study. Because you, if you go in the field at 9 o'clock in the morning, it's fine because they will just start their activity because they, they link their activity to, to the, the temperature. Important uh, outcome of the, of the project was the possibility to 
to join together some uh, world specialists of uh, dragonfly of the Middle East, people from uh, Belgium, England, uh, uh, France that came to, to, to group together and discuss the subject specifically on Eurotemistomasi, on how to conduct the survey, what to investigate more and this is really helpful for us as well uh, to, to have the, the different opinions of different uh, specialists. One of the main threats is the disappearance of the habitat. Then you have the, the change of habitat because you, you can still have the habitat present, but there are some uh, human intervention to, to, to artificialize the, the site. We don't know exactly how the, the climate will affect the region, but boy, is, if there are some increase in temperature or change in precipitation, this it can also completely affect the, the cycle of the, of the species. Because so some slight change in water temperature might affect the development of the larva. All the life cycle of the dragonfly are really linked to, to water. That's why uh, Wadi Uraya is so important for uh, dragonflies because uh, it's one of the rare places in, uh, in the area where you find so, so much water. So you have uh, so a concentration of, uh, of species linked to water. I think the most important thing for the rest of this, for, for, the, for, for now, for the future, is to survey the lowland wadis. The, the, the thing about the UAE is Wadi Waraya is one of the best and only permanent wadis at low level in the region. And that's why it's so important for uh, Eurothemis. Uh, it, obviously surveying it in other parts, in Oman, similarly, in the lowlands, uh, and when we found the best sites for it, then we can perhaps put some conservation measures in place to make sure that we've got the species for future generations. <laughs>